Hey guys, what's up Roman here from Tech Guides, and in today's video I'd like to do another FPS guide for Call of Duty Warzone. Now you guys have really enjoyed my previous FPS guide where I was talking about different window settings and their effect on performance in COD Warzone. And in today's video I'd like to kind of continue with this topic but with a heavy focus on Nvidia GPUs. So today I'd like to cover the influence of the different power options in the Nvidia control panel on performance in COD Warzone and also how this kind of ties in with the Nvidia Reflex low latency options in game, what performance penalty you'll have to expect when using Nvidia highlights, and while I'm already on the subject, I'd also like to revisit my results regarding the performance influence of running Nvidia Shadowplay. Then I'll show you why you definitely should not be using Nvidia filters in COD Warzone. And finally, if I found any performance benefit of using hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now, because I was already testing and some of you guys actually wondered whether changing the process priority to normal or high has any influence on performance in-game, I also tested this and I'll show the results at the end of today's video. As always, if you're only interested in a specific topic of today's video, then definitely make use of the video chapters in the video playback bar. Now, before jumping right into the results, here's a very quick recap of the testing methodology. I'm using two computers to do these tests with. The primary PC consists of an i9-9900K running at 5GHz, as well as an RTX 2080, and all of these tests are performed at 1440p. On the other hand, the secondary PC has an i7-7700K, which is running at 4.8GHz, a GDX 980, and all benchmarks with the secondary PC are performed at 1080p. Finally, to get consistent results of each setting, I load up a live match of Warzone, go to a specific spot on the map, which is always the same, and then I perform 10 second benchmarks of 7 different field of views to get a consistent result. So as you can imagine, performing these kind of benchmarks takes a whole lot of time, so if you enjoy the time and effort that I put into producing these sorts of videos, then definitely smash that like button. But without any further ado, let's hop right into my results regarding the power management mode in the NVIDIA control panel. Now, in my previous video, I actually already tested the influence of power management mode on performance in Call of Duty Warzone. Oddly enough, I found that regardless of the power management mode that I selected, I would always get the exact same performance in Call of Duty Warzone. Now, the reason why I found absolutely no difference in performance whatsoever was because I actually set the in-game option of NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency to Enabled and Boost. As this very kind viewer of my channel pointed out, setting this option to On and Boost equivalents to the power management mode set to maximum performance, which is likely also why I found no performance difference in my previous testing. So for today's video, I disabled Reflex Low Latency in-game and retested performance of the three different power management modes. Surprisingly, I found that using the adaptive mode, I would actually get slightly higher performance than using optimal power or maximum performance. However, note that the difference is within 1 FPS, so this could also be within the margin of error of my testing methodology. On the other hand, if I simply re-enable Reflex Low Latency in-game, you can see that the performance that I'm getting is somewhat equal to using adaptive power. So in conclusion, there really doesn't seem to be a significant difference in performance that you get with these different power options. Now, frankly, I would always recommend to enable Reflex Low Latency in-game because it significantly reduces your input latency and makes the game so much smoother to play. Now with that, let's move on to NVIDIA Highlights and NVIDIA Filters, which are also options that you can set up in-game. Enabling NVIDIA Highlights significantly decreases performance on my primary PC by about 6 FPS and by about 3 FPS on my second PC. Obviously, this really isn't too bad considering that you'll get all of your highlight clips recorded automatically by the game, but if you want to have the highest performance, then disable NVIDIA Highlights. Next, a few of my viewers were also curious to see what happens if I enable NVIDIA filters. As you can see, performance completely tanks. I lose about 25 FPS on my primary PC and 12 FPS on my secondary PC. So enabling NVIDIA filters really completely destroys your performance in Call of Duty Warzone and I would highly recommend not to use this even though that it might give you slight competitive advantage as to seeing people in dark corners, the performance penalty that this option comes with, in my opinion, simply is not worth the kind of increase in visual clarity of the game. 
Now, because this video is already specifically tailored towards the influence of different NVIDIA settings on Call of Duty Warzone's performance, I'd also like to reiterate my performance results that I got for recording using NVIDIA Shadowplay that I actually already presented in my previous video. Note that the baseline performance, so that is simply shadow play off or what is shown on screen right now, is slightly lower than the baseline performance that I got in my most recent benchmark run. The reason for that is simply that performance has increased over the last couple of updates. I know a lot of people are actually angry at Infinity Ward or Raven because performance keeps getting worse. But honestly, I think the reason that their performance gets worse is because they just fill up their computers with chunk and um, that's why it's actually getting slowed down and not really because the game is running worse. Because honestly, on both of my computers, the game is now running slightly more performant than when I was benchmarking a few months ago. However, let's get back on topic. Now let's look at what happens to performance when enabling NVIDIA Shadowplay. Unsurprisingly, performance decreases by about 10-2% to on my primary and secondary PC when I enable NVIDIA Shadowplay. I'm getting almost identical performance whenever I simply record, regardless at which bitrate. Also, it doesn't matter whether I record at 60 or 30 FPS, the performance penalty remains the same. Finally, when recording at a lower resolution than what your screen is, you're also not getting higher performance. So essentially, it doesn't matter at which settings you're recording with Shadowplay, your performance penalty is always going to be identical. Next, let's talk about Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. This is a new feature that has been released with Microsoft's May 2020 update or Windows version 2004. You can find this option by clicking on the Start menu and typing Graphics Settings. Now, sadly, I could only test the performance influence of enabling this option on my primary computer because my secondary PC only has a GDX 980 graphics card and hardware accelerated GPU scheduling only supports graphic cards newer than Pascal or 10 series graphics cards. Now, on my RTX 2080, I could actually see a sort of slightly significant improvement in performance here, about 3 FPS. However, you should also note that the 1% lows slightly decreased at the same time. I guess you should test it for yourself if you think that the game feels less smooth when you enable it, then disable it again. On the other hand, if you feel like your average FPS is simply going up, then definitely enable it. Finally, I'd also like to talk about process priority and how this influences performance in Call of Duty Warzone. Now, I'm aware that this really doesn't have to do anything with NVIDIA whatsoever, but I figured since I was already testing COD Warzone's performance anyways, I might as well test this option as well. Now, just in case you don't know how to actually change process priority, you can bring up the Task Manager, click on Details, right-click on the Modern Warfare.exe, click on Set Priority, and change the process's priority. Now, by default, Warzone runs at the high process priority. And as you can see, when I decrease this to normal, I do actually lose slight performance on both the systems that I tested this on. However, I'd argue that the performance difference is within margin of error. And therefore, if you do have stuttering in-game, then changing your process priority to normal might actually help you guys getting a smoother gaming experience in Call of Duty Warzone. And that is it, those are all the NVIDIA settings that I tested for today's video. Now if you do think that I missed some important settings that have a significant influence on gaming performance in Warzone, then definitely let me know in the comments down below. If you liked this video, leave a like, if you didn't, leave a dislike, subscribe for more super technical in-depth videos as the one you're watching right now. Thank you guys so much for watching, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, the rest? Hit. Wow. I downed him somewhere. Watch out! Close! Close! I'm getting him. Please hold me. Yeah. I'm blue mark. The rest. I killed him, I killed him, I killed him. One more pushing. I'm getting inside though. Broken. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm gonna die. Thank you. We got the circle though. Okay, these guys sniping in here is in this building. Right here. Broke oh. down, down, down. Guy inside down. What? Close, close, close. Yeah, close, close. 
Got him. Two guys. Just those guys. Two those guys. guys. Where? Easy, baby! Nice. Nice. Woo!